this paper boiled down to an amazing discovery. We were looking at a very important reaction, ammonia decomposition. This is very important for the hydrogen economy. And we started by looking at working with our antenna reactor nanoparticles. So these are particles that are activated by light, but they do chemistry. And they can convert a catalyst, a well-known thermal catalyst where people use heat, they can convert the thermal catalyst to a light-based catalyst. Well, catalysis is uh, the foundation of chemical industry, and that's one of the most energy-consuming uh, parts of all society. The catalyst makes the chemical, chemical transformations easier. We started the experiment by using a copper antenna and a ruthenium reactor. The, re the ruthenium is where the actual chemistry happens. And then my student had a really clever idea, a kind of crazy idea. He said, instead of ruthenium, which of course is very, very expensive, why don't we try iron? So my whole work is built on this uh, ideology that we want to not only do a reaction that is uh, beneficial, but also find a catalyst that is much more abundant, much more cheap, much more sustainable than what we had before. So that's the first innovation we do here. We, we show that catalysis can be done by these very cheap and, and abundant materials, sustainable materials. Perhaps even more important is that we can do this with light. Okay, so we don't have to heat up a reactor. Uh, the heating up of a reactor is a very slow process. It requires very high grade materials, high pressures, high temperature. When we do it with lights, we, we can basically do it in a very small, in, we could do it in a plastic container, obviously we don't do that, but uh, we, we go to very low temperatures and very low pressures. So it's a very sustainable, it's a very little investment in that kind of equipment. Perhaps even more important when it comes to hydrogen, which is the focus of this science paper, is that we can do it on the fly. Because you're using less energy, this could also enable decentralized plant and this decentralized plant actually uh, can produce hydrogen which depends on the need of the customer. In terms of like a near-term goal, we are trying to deploy this technology in different parts of the world to produce clean hydrogen. For example, a CCG Plasmonic a joined an agreement with Lata Chemical and Sumutomo Corporation to deliver fully electrified ammonia cracking plant to help South Korea to decarbonize. And this is being developed in CCG Plasmonics, which is a company that Peter and I co-founded. So this type of technology is being used to drive chemistry based on our antenna reactor nanoparticles, our antenna reactor complexes. And so we show in this work that LED-based chemistry is, is actually doable, and it's doable at scales that can actually contribute to industrial scale chemistry and industrially important reactions. When we burn hydrogen, we generate water. This is, you can't think of anything more sustainable than that.